burn project. And it's very simple. I know I'm preaching to the choir here. But there are three elements that are critical for works that are born of the spirit as opposed to works that are born of the, the flesh. That which is born of the flesh, Jesus says, is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. And for you to take responsibility for a people group, it is so important, almost too important for you even to know. But I want to give you three things really rapidly that many of you know, many of you have been practicing in your ministries that are the DNA of a work that is born of the Spirit. And the first one is faith. It is necessary for you to be challenged beyond your capacity. It is necessary for you to take risks it's even necessary for you to undergo times of testing of your faith for that faith to somehow be validated in the spirit and therefore become part of the DNA of your project. Sometimes you may wonder, Lord, why is it so hard? Lord, why have so many bad things happened? Why have I been challenged in this way and that way? Sometimes thinking the enemy is trying to stop your work, which he obviously is. But the Lord is also allowing these things so that there, the work that you are doing will be validated <coughs> by enduring faith, sacrificial faith, faith that endures. You might not know it, but the Lord has been doing that in yours and mine and the people around you life for a long time. You think it's just being hard, but what you don't recognize is that you are being equipped with the, one of the most important aspects of a work of the Spirit, and that is it must be born of faith. Second one is hope. Of course, the third one's going to be love, right? <laughs> the DNA of a spiritual project is hope. Hope for the nations. Having your heart broken with the things that break the Lord's as we sing. Adopting a people group and getting to know them and having the hope of your life transferred away from being, number one, successful or famous or being a, a really cool movie producer or hoping for the applause and the approval of your peers and your superior. As you transfer that away into a place where you're hoping for fruitfulness for God's kingdom, that this people group will really, really be reached. The enemy wants to uh, attack you with discouragement. He wants to take away that deferment of hope. And so you find yourself in the battle of just maintaining hope, thinking that you're going through another hard time, but not, maybe not always recognizing that the Lord is actually adding the DNA of a spiritual work. That which is born of the Spirit is fear. And finally, the third key critical element to a project that's born of the Spirit is charity. It's love. Doing what you do is enduring what you go through because of love for the people. So you find yourself traveling and finding yourself being offended with the people that you're intending to serve and challenged to come to a place once again of breaking and allowing the love of God to go, to break away your selfishness, to break away your, yourself out of a comfort zone. People will do mean things to you, forcing you to have to forgive them, forcing you have to put up with things that you're not comfortable with, having to lay your life down for a project that you often wonder why you would be without maybe recognizing that you're entering into another real critical, critical aspect of that which is born of the Spirit. And that is, greater love has no man than this, than a man or a woman lay down their life for their friend. And as you're going through this project, you're finding having to be patient, enduring, loving, and kind over and over and over and over again 
until it literally wears, your, wears you out, you come to the end of yourself, and you find the love of God coming in and carrying you. And as we go through these things, anybody ever go through this stuff? The struggle. Without recognizing maybe what's happening, the Lord is weaving it all together to produce something that could not be born of the flesh, could not be a product of man, but is a product of His Holy Spirit. And hundreds of thousands, and soon, hundreds of millions of people are impacted, and they hear the words of life, maybe sometime for the very first time. And it all happened through the string of events that brought forth faith, hope, and love. 